I've lived the casual f lifestyle and it sucks compared to the spiritual intimacy of sharing your body with someone you love. They're incompatible. Well, raining trees, do you think that your preferences here might be, like, specific to you? I, I do despise the arrogance of people who, uh, who, because they only want to f their soulmate or whatever, think that means it's best for everyone. I, like, I personally... So, keep that... Then now, this is important. He says he despises the arrogance of people thinking that their way of life is what everyone should do. Okay. That's important. Keep this in mind for the rest of this conversation. Is it, is it Fosh like a communist? Doesn't he want to force <laughs> his way of life on all of us? Like doesn't doesn't Vosh believe in a world where if you start a business that gains mm -hmm. five employees, you need to turn it into a workers' co-op. Otherwise you're completely immoral. Well, unless you are a streamer, then you don't have to do that. Oh, okay. As long as there's an ex is an exception for Vosh, uh, yes, everything's right. cool. Of course. I mean, you subscribe course. to the most authoritarian uh, way of looking at the world. But, you know, obviously, the arrogance of thinking other people should live <laughs> like you. My God. I think that, like, non-monogamy is the default state of humans and our adherence to monogamy is socially destructive. Okay. Uh, yeah, I know. He gets into it very quickly here. Very quickly. So he said two things that were crazy. He says non-monogamy is the default state of humans, mm -hmm. all right? And that monogamy is socially destructive. Socially destructive, Sitch. Now, yes. now that would mean a danger to society, right? Yes. <laughs> he, he He's arguing that society is unstable or more unstable under monogamy than the alternative. <laughs> Now that it now I'm under the impression because Vosh talks about it all the time that he has a mm -hmm. bachelor's degree in sociology. Yes. Now, what is sociology? <laughs> what is is sociology about how we structure society? Is it is it not about like yes, social that's, that's, systems? It's a little bit. That's a little part of it. Yeah. I thought <laughs> I thought my understanding was it was the study of groups. That was my understanding. I could be wrong. Uh -huh, I could be completely uh -huh. wrong here. Okay. I could also be wrong that in Basically, all of my preliminary research on the topic shows that actually monogamy creates far more stable society, right. far more equal rights right. for women. Right. I could be wrong that there's a giant consensus on this point, but uh, yeah. if you have a if you have a society that's filled with a bunch of uh, sexless, childless males running around, yes. <laughs> uh, free to to raise hell and mayhem however they see mm -hmm. fit. Now yeah. you're saying that society is going to be a more stable society. Is that <laughs> is that the argument that Vosh is making? These Listen. childless, sexless males without any love, <laughs> mm -hmm. any female companionship in their lives. They're just going to just just chill? Just Netflix right. and chill? Yeah. Uh, listen, <laughs> we all know that young males uh -huh. that have no buy-in into society uh -huh. Are not going to cause any problem. No. Okay. Oh, They're just okay. going to go play Xbox all day, right? It'd be fine. It'd be totally fine. Has Bosch ever done a video on maybe incels or the incel problem <laughs> or incel violence or incel misogyny or? Whoa, 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 Jordan <laughs> Peterson. I mean, with your I'm just curious. monogamy. Well, he has okay? a he's a he's practically got a a phd in sociology here i mean I, you would think he looked into this a little more than just randomly yelling into PhD. the phd let's come on let's be real here okay. well he has a bachelor's he slept through some classes in college like we all did <laughs> i just i don't see how like this is the thing that oh no people I, I, on the mean? internet talk about mm -hmm. all the time this well is... okay let's let's be clear here there's kind of two versions of sociology okay uh -huh. There's like real sociology. Okay. And then there's woke sociology. Oh my okay, okay, I gotcha. Okay. And I and I could one hundred percent believe, and I've seen this repeated, there are these woke socialists, or not woke well, yeah, woke socialists, but also woke sociologists who make these arguments that oh, every you know, all of our all of our normative behavior, which mm -hmm. would be monogamy in today's world, are oppressive social constructs that we must get rid of. Mm-hmm. And I can 100% believe that his idiotic woke classes that he probably took preached this nonsense to him, and he just ate it all up mm -hmm. without a thought in the world. 
So I could understand that. He just believed it. He was basically right. indoctrinated by a bunch of shitheads running a sociology department, a bunch of radical feminists that really had are complete social constructionists. They have no idea about biology or, or moral intuitions or any of that stuff. Right. Yeah. Right. And we're, we're going to probably talk a lot about evolution in this video because <laughs> you'll notice that in a conversation about what is natural in terms of sexual reproduction, the topic of evolution is conspicuously absent from this video. You said something it's pretty baffling. You said something interesting before the stream began. You had talked about how there was another panel with Dylan Burns and a bunch of other people talking about this topic. And none of them yeah. brought up evolution. Yeah, it was it was Dylan Burns, Vosh, Dylan Burns' co-host who sounded like one of the dumbest people on the planet, whose name escapes me, and Shu. Mm -hmm. And none of them brought up evolution whatsoever mm -hmm. in this topic of whether monogamy was natural or not mm -hmm. which we're going to get into more because obviously we've only listened to 30 seconds of that. <laughs> but it's so just it's so amazing that vosh just in the very beginning we're 28 seconds in and he drops this whopper just whopper of disinformation <laughs> completely <laughs> what well, how, how does he do this sitch how's this possible I'm, well, this is what I, it's, it's the aggressive stupidity. Okay. It's Vosh, his Vosh's special skill. Okay. He, he put most of his stat points in and it's all, he's all in on confidence. Okay. So he can say like the dumbest shit ever with the same level of confidence as like stating the, the temperature and weather outside. Right. And you're like, oh, well, he's saying it very confidently. So I guess it's true. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> let's see where he goes with this. This could, this could be interesting. But I'm still okay with you motherfuckers doing what makes you happy. Then people saddling around and being like, um, actually, no, I've experienced true love, and you have no idea the power that it... I do think my preferences are specific to me. Okay, it's just sound... Well, and I just want to be clear here, because this, this comes up a lot, okay? The first thing he says is that he thinks monogamy is socially destructive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay? So he's saying it's, it's an actually, it's a bad thing. Yeah. We got to get and rid then, of it, uh, right. <laughs> Sitch. I mean, what are we doing? Right. But this is important because he keeps coming back to this like, listen, guys, I'm not saying that you can't be monogamous. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can go do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Just don't impose it on me. Like, this is the position he keeps kind of trying to pivot to. Mm -hmm. However, that's kind of a bullshit position. Totally. Because if you, because if, if you think, especially if someone like Vosh, thinks that something is a moral wrong yeah then obviously he wants it to be done away yeah. with. okay sitch i i think slavery is a moral wrong but you know you do whatever you want whatever <laughs> you feel right about you know i feel it's a moral wrong to you know kidnap a woman and have a sex slave in your dungeon you right, know basement right. i think that's morally repugnant but you Listen, know whatever whatever you think is good for society i think baby eating is wrong yeah okay oh me too I'm i think totally killing and it. eating babies is wrong but listen you know <laughs> let let people you know do what they want bygones be bygones just don't eat my baby like just do whatever you want you know it's fine it's as soon fine. as as soon as you make the declaration that something is socially destructive <laughs> like you're you've kind of you know led yourself down a moral path here I don't like yeah. I I think slavery is socially dis destructive. I think racism is socially destructive. So I'm against those things. But like <laughs> to say monogamy is socially destructive. Mm, OK, citation needed, okay. sociologist. Yep. Sounded like you're you, know, you sound extreme when you say monogamy is socially destructive. Well, I guess I'm an extremist then. <laughs> the yes. chat totally fucking calls him out immediately. Yeah, they like, sound a little extreme, Bosh. What are you talking about? <laughs> We're all supposed to go swap our girlfriends now? I didn't buy into this when I joined the Vosh community. <laughs> What's bad about monogamy? I've talked about this before. Monogamy doesn't seem like it was the default state of humans. There's nothing, it doesn't seem like that's something inherent to the way we behave. Uh, mono Why, see, and immediately Ooh. he makes like the naturalistic fallacy right, here. It's like, right. what the fuck, Vosh? I thought you were fighting against a naturalistic fallacy. Well, also, that's kind of a big self-report, isn't it? What do you mean? What's that? <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Well, think about it. If, if okay, it's not Vosh's natural state of being. Is that what you're yeah, trying exactly. to say? Yeah, exactly. So, so, like, if listen, guys, if you're in a relationship with someone 
And they're like, you know, I don't think monogamy is a natural state for humans. It's like, it's kind of a big red flag. You're like, what are you trying to say exactly? There are t two reproductive strategies in males yes. quite often. There is mm -hmm. the chaste reproductive strategy, the monogamous uh, reproductive strategy, as, as you would call it, or the, um, the fuck and run strategy. <laughs> The where, pump and dump strategy. Yeah, where you uh, try to impregnate as many women as possible and, and leave them high and dry, right? Are you saying right. that Vosh is like leaning towards this? The pump and dump strategy? The pump and dump strategy? Like. sounds like. I mean, I don't, I wouldn't feel, I mean, how can you call yourself a good person if that's your reproductive well, strategy? I mean. Evolutionary <laughs> biologists have talked about this a lot, including Brett Weinstein. Uh -huh. And... And it, people like Vosh don't understand this, mm -hmm. that males and females have different sex uh, gametes. okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> males have sperm, right? And women have eggs. Uh -huh. And because of this, they ha males and females have, within own species, have different reproductive strategies. Yes. A male is able to just disseminate their sperm as much as they want to as many different people as they want. Or right. With women... Yes or with the females of the species, they can't. They have to actually invest a lot more time and energy and care into, into their own baby. Right, yes. In order, to, in order to carry their genetic code onward. And so this kind of does create a conflict where males and females within own species will have different uh, reproductive strategies. Yes, it's called sexual conflict theory. I think they might yes. study it in like uh sociology and sociology <laughs> or, maybe you, you'd hope so. or, or uh hope definitely so. in evolutionary biology but the so there is a fitness payoff that males can take obviously take advantage of and vosh's little uh primate brain here he, he doesn't need to know this consciously but he knows this unconsciously he's like i'm yes. vosh i'm a big time streamer i could have a hundred <laughs> kids in like a nine months i'm i need to spread my seed into the world i'll have my own commune in no time at all. Like your right. brain doesn't need to know that consciously, Bosch, but your little brain do, do, knows it. <laughs> the little brain, the one, right. the one down south. The one that's rationalizing a lot of this conversation here. Mm -hmm. I just, it's, I, I feel like we're better people if we understand the forces that are driving us. Yes. I feel like we can well, kind of work past them. That's that's part of the issue because it's much easier for you as an individual person to not be led around by your your lizard brain yes. and your elephant if you're aware of the reason of why your lizard brain is leading you down certain paths. Right. And so when Vosh says like monogamy is not the natural state for humans, it really feels like that's him trying to rationalize the fact that he wants to pump and dump a bunch of bitches. Yeah, totally. And not only that, I mean, if you think about it, when he says that monogamy is destructive, if Vosh yeah. is capable of siring 100 children in, in a year, mm -hmm. then it is kind of destructive to him. I mean, let's be honest here. That's true. That's true. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, no, there's, it could, you could lose out on a, a huge reproductive payoff, Osh. Well, and it annoys me because he never, never really even attempts to validate, he keeps saying this, but he never attempts to validate this claim that monogamy is not the natural state for humans. Right. You and then on top of that, he never explains what he thinks the natural state is because he kind of like, we can kind of implicitly figure out through this conversation. He sort of believes, or at least claiming to believe that the natural state of humans is that, Oh, a bunch of humans would like exist in small hunter gatherer tribes and they'd all have giant sex orgies. Yes. yes. And no one gave a shit about whose kids are who. And it's like, that mm. is so far removed from reality. Yes. That is so untrue. And there's a, there is a book that he's probably drawing on mm -hmm. that makes this claim. And it's funny because I was reading reviews of it by like anthropologists and they're like, these guys don't know what the fuck is it. Is it Sex at Dawn? I'm curious. What's the book? It is Sex at Dawn. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I've That's heard exactly horrible book, things yeah. about that book. From right. Like David right. M. Buss, who's the who is the guy to read on these on this topic? Yeah, they're saying that these guys are not, they're not, they have no anthropology creds. They are just basically trying to, you know, post hoc rationalize everything and fit everything into it. They have no evidence for the claim whatsoever. 